Hi everybody, I'm back here with another tutorial video. Uh, I noticed a few people were still having issues when I tried to implement my uh, mod that I made into the tabletop simulator um, most commonly used mod and um, they were having troubles making a deck through digimoncard.dev and having it work. So I was going to make a more long form video showing you guys how to make a deck, how to make it work, and make sure everything goes smoothly. And this has been playtested by me, so if you guys have any other issues, like leave, leave them down in the comments, uh, ask on the store page, and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys. So to start thing off, the first thing you want to do is turn English off, turn proxy on, because I use the proxy data. So once that's done, you go ahead and go to Deck Builder, and then you can either click on any of the boosters slash starters to find the card you want. You can type it in here. But basically what you do is you, like for instance, we're going to click on this, you click a card, and boom, it's added. And like you see, I already added an Agumon to get us started. So once your deck is all said and done, you can actually do a lot of neat things with this um, mod down here. So I'm going to actually bring up one of my decks and show you. So we're going to use something new. Um, I have this Cross Hearts deck I made. And if you want to like play test it without actually putting it in, you can actually do a roll. And it'll show you, like, this is your security, this is your starting hand. So you can get a feel of what you're going to, you know, regularly do. And you can re-roll again and again, uh, however many times you want to get a pretty good idea of what to expect. It's, it's, it's really cool. I like that. Um, you can use full cards, like, to see how much you have. You can big screen it if you want to, like, more extensive look at what you're dealing with. And then when everything's said and done and you're confident with your deck, you want to import it into the mod, here's what you do. You click Import Export. You click TTS, which stands for Tabletop Simulator. You highlight this whole thing, and you can either right-click and copy, or you can Control-C, however you prefer doing it. And then you take all this information of what we did into the mod. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. Okay, so here we are with my mod. And... The next step we want is we want to import all the stuff we've made into the automated card game mod that's most popularly used and usually promoted in a lot of other videos. So there are several ways to do this, but the easiest way is to just eat, put them all together and import them all at the same time. Or if this is like not your first time into my mod and you just want a specific set, like if you have over this, this is BT9 and so on and so forth. Um, what you do is you right click it, you go save object, and save it wherever you need to save it. And this is really important, so make sure you save it, and then we're going to put it in the other mod. So I've already saved all of this, and I've already imported it all into the other mod. But just for the sake of showing you how it's done, we're going to go ahead and take, uh, I think BT10 was the one we were using, so we're going to, I've already had that saved, but we're going to go ahead and open up the other mod and show you how to do it. So go to workshop, automated, load. So what we're gonna want to do is after this is loaded, we're gonna gonna come over to this white digivice right here and we're gonna need to make it so we can see what you're seeing right now on my screen. You're gonna want to right click and then click search. And then you're going to want to take this here thing here and pull it on out if it'll let you. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip ahead after this is already loaded, and we'll come back to this. Okay, so this thing's all fully loaded, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to click and hold and drag it onto the table. Now that that's done, we need to go get our booster. So you go to Objects, Saved Objects. I have all my stuff obviously situated in a certain way. Uh, we'll go grab BT10, just like we did with the other one, drag, drop. And the whole process of adding it is really stupid simple. All you gotta do is grab the big stack, slap it on top of the smaller stack, and boom, you're done. And then you take the whole completed thing and drop it back into the Digivice. And now all the data it needs to make your deck is sitting in there. So if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of doing this every single time, I highly suggest after you've added a deck or an expansion or whatever, you save the game so you only have to add the new stuff. 
So you just go to games, save, save game, call it whatever you need to call it, and then just make sure that's what you load every single time. So whenever you're adding the next expansion or whatever, you don't have to add all of them every single time. Or when you make your deck, just save the deck after the fact. But still, it's, it's, it's just so much easier to follow the steps I've given you. So now that everything's in there, we're going to want to go to Notebook. We're going to highlight all this, paste what we got from digimoncard.dev, make sure that grays out. That's your confirmation that it's for sure in there. And click the X, and then click Import Deck. And as you can see, while it's loading, it worked. And everything we did from digimoncard.dev is now inside here. It's working perfectly. And uh, if you want to go through, you can just go search, pull out all your eggs, you know, throw everything you need to throw on the other side, and boom, you're done. And that should solve a lot of people's problems. If there's any other issues I haven't addressed or there's still something that's not quite working right, like I said, leave a comment or go to the store page, get a hold of me there, and um, we'll troubleshoot it and take care of you guys. I hope that helped out a lot, and uh, I will see you guys in the next expansion.